Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of comparing fractions. This is standard 3.3H in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 23 of the 2023 released STAR test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so Hector's got four circles here. They all are the same size. They look like the same size, but you always want the problem to tell you that. He divided and shaded the first circle to represent the fraction 4, 6. All right, so that makes sense. Let's see how we got this. these 4, 6, right? I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, right? So that's going to be your numerator. So the numerator is going to represent in your fraction the number that you are uh, selecting, in this case, it's going to be shaded, right? The number of pieces we're talking about, we're talking about four pieces. And then we've got our denominator, that's the total. All right, so that would be, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so that's where my four six come from. Four out of the six pieces are shaded. To be a fraction, each piece has to be the exact same size. Now, Hector will con correctly divide and shade the other circles to represent fractions less than 4 sixths. Okay, so which answer choice is not a way that he could divide and shade a circle to represent a fraction? Okay, so not. So three of these are going to work. I'm looking for the one that doesn't work, and thankfully they gave us three circles, so we can just draw right on it. So let's do that. He could divide a circle into six equal parts and shade one. All right, so I'm going to see if I can follow these directions here. I'm going to try my hardest to make these six equal parts, but let's let's just pretend that they are in case I mess it up. Okay, so, and he can shade one. So I'm going to just do, I'll just do like a magenta. And I'll start right here in this one spot right here. And I'm looking, he wants to correctly divide and shade the other circles to represent fractions less than 4 sixths. Okay, so this is going to end up being one piece out of six total. So that is less than, right? So 1 sixth is less than 4 sixths. So that works, which means, remember, I don't want it. I want the one that does not work. So let's look at the next one. He could divide a circle into eight equal parts. All right, eight is a little bit easier. Okay. You can draw it in fourths, and then you cut each fourth in half. All right, so there's my eighths, and he could shade four of the parts. Okay. Well, you can't always necessarily rely on your pictures. As you can see, my sixths aren't exactly even. So I'm not going to rely on my picture to compare these two. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use what I know about fractions. So this is four eighths. Now take a look. I know that four eighths is less than four sixths. You know why? Because the numerators are the same. I've got four pieces out of each. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But you see, when I cut my same size circle into eighths, each piece is smaller. So these are four larger pieces, and these are four smaller pieces. Because the more my denominator grows, the smaller each piece gets. So this works, which means I don't want it. He could divide a circle into four equal parts. All right. And he can shade four. Well, that's going to be problematic because look, uh, I just shaded the whole thing. That's definitely more, right? So four fourths is actually going to be greater than four six because I have the same numerator, but I have less of a denominator. These four pieces, these are going to be my four larger pieces, and now that's my four smaller pieces. So that's the one. That's not going to work. Uh, and if I did this, this would be 3, 6, right? So that's the same denominator, okay? 4, 6 is going to be uh, greater than 3, 6, so I don't want this. So my answer here is C.